Hi, it's me, Nick Williams. A lot of you seem to be very confused about how to support resin prints. Um, I see a lot of people praising Greg, I forgot his last name, I think it starts with a K, for using uh, Cheetubox. I'm not sure if that's pronunciation, I don't really care. Uh, that program sucks, it's buggy, placing your own supports is, is tedious, trust me. I mean, look at my history, I used to make fun of people who use auto supports, but it's 2020, we're in a new decade. Um, it's time you guys start using a real um, slicer, and that is the Prusa slicer. And I'm going to show you how easy it is with a very complicated model. Let's take a look at the model. Uh, hopefully this will open it. I know they're automatically set to B9. This is what I used to use to support. It's still better than C2 box. Uh, super complicated, creepy model. You're like, what am I going to do with this? How am I going to support it? Um, the easy answer is you're not. Most of these types of things are done in pieces, and I think that's the best way to go. I mean, I could support this without pieces if you want, but it's it just wouldn't make sense. We can, but let's not ever, 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 ever. Uh, so we're going to start with, uh, looks like the left arm? Left arm. We're going to open in Prusa Slicer. Uh, look up Prusa Slicer if you haven't used it in a while. You need to update it. Uh, it just got a huge update brings a lot more to the game. Hollowing, I haven't really tested that out and I use this for supports mainly. Uh, so the big thing, the big thing that we're gonna start with, I don't know how many times I have to say this, is orienting your prints correctly, knowing where your supports are gonna go. So already I see this, I see the fingers are going upwards. I don't wanna put supports on them too much. I think I'm gonna have to support this over here, uh, maybe this finger here. Uh, but let's make it so we can kind of get it into a position where we can minimize the amount of supports on the face that we're going to see. So I kind of want to tilt this so this is facing down and put as many supports as I can on this joining point here because I'm going to shave this down anyway. Um, let's see. So if you do this, that's that's pretty much literally what I wanted. Maybe the fingers are a little bit too angled, so we're going to do a little bit like this. Um, and that's it. That's literally as hard as I'm going to work on supporting this piece. Now, no, maybe I'm lying to you. Maybe I'm lying to you because I don't like how flat this is here. It's really a game that you play with yourself. Uh, okay. Okay, this is starting to look good. Here. Yeah, okay. I like this. Because there are no, well, there are parallel areas, but not something that I'm going to have to worry about. So from here, um, let's take a look at my print settings. Uh, supports, so this is the holy grail. Um, let's go through all these. I'm not even sure I know what they all are. Generate supports, obviously on. I kept these the same. A lot of people are like, oh, you know, do smaller penetration. Well, you know what, that's, that's some small dick energy. You gotta go with enough penetration to support the islands. Um, come down here to the diameter. I'm not sure what it was at. Let's see if it'll tell me. Default value 1. Uh, I put it to 0.7. I don't remember why, guys. I haven't printed something or changed these settings in a long time. Zigzag. I actually have been thinking about going dynamic. So let's go dynamic and see what happens. Support on build plate only. No. You're going to have to support some things that can't touch the build plate. Blah, 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 blah. Everything else is good. The object elevation. I think the default is 5. Yeah, it's 5. No, don't do 5. Bring it up a little bit. Uh, just because a lot of you like to print minis with bases. Uh, bring it to 8, 9, 10. You don't have to go over that. Critical angle 45. Anything out of 45 degrees is going to be supported. Da, 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 da. Support density 100%. You'll see why this doesn't really matter too much. Minimum distance of the support points needs to be 2. Just so things aren't cluttered and you get false uh, print areas. So I'm going to hit this. I'm literally just going to hit this, uh, and then I'm going to auto-generate points. Bam. Bam. Look at that. Greg, can you do things that fast? Nope. You fucking can't. Look at that. We're here. We're right here. Now, uh, no program is perfect, so let's see where there will be problems. Uh, this is kind of something you have to learn unless you have a validator, and we do have a validator, and we'll get to there in just a sec. But... Uh, I mean, in all honesty, it looks pretty good, uh, but 
I, I, the, the fingers are making me nervous. You know what I mean? This finger right here, even though it's not parallel and it probably will print, it, it absolutely will print. There's, there's nothing wrong with going to manual editing. I mean, it'll dis, it'll uh, get rid of all the points here. And what you do is you just, bam, now there's a support there. Um, and the one thing that always gets me, and that I'll get a lot of you, is, are these these sharp edges. So I like to go bam, bam, bam. And some of you guys are like, oh my god, no, Nick, you're going to ruin that edge. I don't care. This is a joining point. No one's ever going to see it. Literally no one. Um, this looks like it'll, it'll get done, but I mean, why not? This point is something that I'm going to be shaving, and it's no one else is ever going to see it. No one. And now we're going to apply changes. Uh, now, I think the important thing to notice about these supports, which some of your programs, I'm pretty sure Citubox actually has this and good for Citubox, um, it, are these supports support themselves? Like, it's not just one single support. Like, this one is a single support, but whatever, you know? I mean, I could put another one so it can be a scaffolding, but check this out. Like, the structural, structural strength uh, is enhanced by these types of supports. And everyone thinks, okay, I only need to worry about the islands you know, make sure all the islands are gone, but you guys also need to make sure that these things are structurally sound. And this is a structurally sound print. This will print. I mean, if you guys want me to prove it to you, I will, because this is a very sexy model by Scott Della Rome. Uh, I hope I didn't butcher your name there, Scott. Um, Comet Lord Minis, that guy, he makes some pretty scary monsters. I'm gonna slice this. Ooh, no, I don't wanna slice this. Uh, I mean, who cares? Usually what I do is I go to file, I go to export, export plate as STL, including supports. Um, and then we just put it in the desktop. Uh, no, 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 we don't want to replace anything. So what we're going to do is put a parentheses S, bam. So that's done, right? Uh, discard, modify. Yeah, I modify the print settings. It was a dynamic. I'm just going to discard things. I don't, it doesn't really matter. If you don't know what you're doing, then, you know, that sucks. So what you do is you take this STL, right? I don't, you know what? I, I really don't have a good reason for still slicing in the AnyCubic. I, I, I guess I can slice anywhere else. It, this just makes me feel like home, you know, back before uh, all these other programs came up. This is all we had. So here it is in all of its glory. Uh, I don't have any weak spots on my screen, even though it's an old printer. Uh, it's still still working fine. These are my settings, 0 0.0391. Uh, if you guys have any problems with this, go fuck yourself. Let's go ahead and slice this, put it on the desktop. Slicing pretty slow. Got a shitty computer. It's about to launch some Fallout 76. I heard the new expansion was pretty dope. You know, remains to be seen because the game sucked at the beginning. Uh, here we go. All right. Estimated print time. Who cares? Here it is. Here's the file. Now, we put it into the Photon file validator. If you don't know what that is, uh, I'm sure I have it on a previous video with the install link and everything. Basically, what it does is it goes through everything and shows how many errors you had. And these are the errors. And it's actually a pretty acceptable amount. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit fix. 10 errors? Not that bad. But look at layer 598, 11 pixels. I don't think that's going to work out. Let's see. Oh, it did work out. Okay, cool. I wanted some errors in here so I can show you, especially Maggie, because she seems to not know how to do this. Check it out. Uh, 595 and 602 have unsupported layers that cannot be fixed by the program. So what do we do? We go in and we check it out. This is a very, very small error, but it can't be fixed because nothing's within one pixel, right? So what? We can go back into the, into the support thing and be like, all right, let's fix this, but who has time for that in this quarantine? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make something new, right? I make something new. The island's gone because I've connected it. I've connected it now. I mean, if you, if you really want to get into this, bam, I connected it more. And you're like, oh my god, you're adding stuff to the model. Shut up. It's going to work. Let's go to the next one. Ooh, this one looks pretty ugly, but it's not. Because watch this. It's like, uh, you know, islands. So we're just going to create some land masses here. Bam. Problem solved. Guys, problem solved. Look at that. Look 
that, we're done. Whoopee, all is good, no unsupported areas. Now, I thought I remember talking to the dev about this, like putting like a, a winky face here. We used to have a winky face, it was fun. Uh, so we save, and what I usually do is I say it's supported with S, and then I say it's validated with V. Uh, and then I hit OK, guys, that's, that's it. So now, now, this file will print with no errors absolutely will print um and if you don't believe me i don't i don't know what to tell you you can come to california and we can watch the printer for five hours have a couple drinks um i mean i'm gonna print this it's a really sexy model um but just not right now because the printer is at school so you know how it is uh i guess we should do something a little more challenging that arm was pretty easy Right leg, left leg, left arm, right arm, small arm. This guy has a lot of arms. I think this might be the most challenging one. The body with the creepy face and all that stuff. Let's see. Oh, man, I kind of wanted the sword. The sword was sexy. Uh, okay, let's do the body. Now... You'll notice right away, there is no good way to do this, right? The body has ridges on the back. Uh, the parts that you wouldn't see are on both sides of the print. Uh, you definitely don't want to obscure this beautiful, beautiful face. Look how hot this guy is. Uh, he's like, oh my God, I'm so hot. Um, man, so this is really up to you. This is really up to you. First of all, I would hollow this print. I made many videos on how to hollow. Let's not go into it, but let's, ooh, whoa. It, there's, a, there's a hole in them. Oh man, that's actually really cool. So the sword that comes with him will actually fit inside of that hole. So what you wanna do, let's stop boogling over him, is pick what you want the most uh, detail on. The face, obviously the face. Um, and I'm not gonna s lecture you on how uh, SLA DLP printers work um, but we're gonna try to angle him in a way that will maximize the amount of detail so in this print orientation for supports is kind of irrelevant because I want the most detail to be on the face uh, and I think I've achieved that that chin is going to need supporting so his back his back and this is actually a good thing um, because this is going to show us, man, I wish, I wish I can just like switch the camera to the, to the product of this. Um, the reason why I use Prusa and I'll show you, let me, let's auto generate some supports first. Any day now. Okay. So yeah, look, chin need a little bit of supports. Do the teeth need supports? Are we in there with the teeth? Looks like we got some balls on the teeth. Got some balls in your mouth, homie. What's up? All right, let's see. Uh, so I don't like how low this is, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. As long as this thing is hollowed, this will print. Now, the immediate thing that you're gonna notice is there's gonna be a lot of supports on the back here, a lot of supports. But the nice thing about Prusa is these supports will come off so cleanly. And I'll print this for you guys, because I'll print this entire model. Um, and you'll see, you'll see. Now there might be a better way to angle this, maybe even upside down, which is sometimes goofy. And you might think, oh, it's so heavy to come off. Not if it's hollow. This should this should absolutely be fine. So sometimes you can't go for, okay, I don't want, you know, too many support pox. Uh, you have to go for where do I want the most detail? And if you have your supports these small or this small, um, you're not gonna have problems getting these things off. Now don't use solid sanding uh, utensils like you know the metal ones use sanding sticks sanding sticks are the best things in the world uh, but that that's another video for another time man i wanted that sword but i guess it's not here let me see if i can show you guys a sword i think it's called the guilty regret blade which is a really sexy name let's see nope Oh, well, I mean, yeah, yeah, that is the sword. That is totally the sword. 
uh, but it was in a different position. I'll show you that another time. I mean, this this print is pretty obvious how you would do it. You would flip this thing like this. Yep, oh, come on, come on, cooperate. Okay, well, I'm not gonna waste my. Oh wait, no, no, are we almost there? Yeah, no, we're there. Uh, you'd want it like this. This is like the perfect printing orientation. A base that's attached, and this is at a slant. It would, you know, support it. Um, but that's kind of a, a boring support job. If you have any questions, um, 